This is a beautiful AMG S63 W222 chassis. Like all S-Class, they're technological marvels of innovation. Driver and passenger side airbags and traction control are just some of the first safety features introduced on the S-Class before they became standard on every other passenger car on the road today. On this episode, we go from this model to this W140 S500, the king of the S-Class. There's an idea among Mercedes owners and enthusiasts of a real Mercedes-Benz. What that means is that a Mercedes from the old days when engineers had more influence over accountants and the cars were built with little regard to material and production costs. In short, they were over-engineered. That meant that the customer bought a car with a solid build quality that would last several decades. Now a car that is often referred to as the last real Mercedes is a W140 S-Class. A little backstory on the W140. It was designed by Mr. Bruno Sacco, a man who shaped the brand more than virtually any other in his 41 years with Daimler-Benz. Besides the W140, he designed the W126 and W220 S-Class. His most significant design was the W201-190. He also designed the W202, W203, W123, W124, W210, the first SLK, the first ML SUV, the C126, C215. He also did the R129 SL and his very last design was the R230 SL. The W140 made its public debut at the Geneva Motor Show in March 1991. It cost Mercedes-Benz almost a billion dollars in research and development. A large amount of innovation was built into it. The W140 was also the first production car that had double glazed glass for the windows and power assisted closing for the doors. Everything in the car felt good to the touch and also felt like it could last forever. At the end of its production run in September 1998, Mercedes-Benz built a total of 406,532 W140 sedans and 26,022 coupes in the eight-year production run. At its launch, the W140 was criticized for being oversized, overweight, and generally unpleasing to the eye. Well, in my biased opinion, I think it's a beautiful modern classic that gets better looking with age. I mean, look at the styling on this W222. It shares, you can see, it shares styling cues, the same DNA. You can tell it's a Mercedes-Benz. You get the overwhelming feeling of quality and security inside this car. The double glazed windows and the heavy doors make soundproofing very good. A well-maintained W140 is still a viable proposition today. This is so much car for the money. Towards the end of the production run, the short wheelbase six-cylinder S320 came with 228 horsepower with 232 foot-pounds of torque. MPG was 15 city, 22 highway. The V8 S500 came with 315 horsepower with 347 foot-pounds of torque. MPG was 15 city, 21 highway. The V12 S600 came with 389 horsepower with 420 foot-pounds of torque. MPG was 13 city, 19 highway. When interviewed for a magazine article, Mr. Sacco was asked which one of his designs was he unhappy with? His reply was the W140. And the reason, he said he was four inches too tall. The fingertip light, power assisted, recirculating bolt steering makes this 4,600 pound monster feel nimble. 
the sheer depth of engineering on the W140 has really stood the test of time. So which was the real Mercedes-Benz? You know the one that's been over-engineered, stood the test of time, and still on the road today? In reality, a Mercedes-Benz is a Mercedes-Benz. There is no obvious model, except that enthusiasts always refer to the W123 as the ultimate over-engineered Mercedes-Benz. Built from 1976 to 1985, this model is still on the road today. Stronger than ever, just go to any major city in Morocco, Africa, where there are about 55,000 W123s still operating as taxi cabs today. A testament to their reliability. The industrial strength W140 S-Class, the R129 SL, and the G-Class are also part of that group of Mercedes with a solid build quality. Three generations of prettier and more technologically advanced models have come since. But still, the W140 commands the respect it so deserves. Thinking long term was very much a part of Mr. Sacco's approach. He rejected the idea of belts and whistles and the need to follow current style trends. He firmly believed that the styling of a Mercedes-Benz should stay current for around 30 years. Or better yet, it should be timeless. Special thanks to Prestige Imports for the use of the AMG S63. Check out their amazing inventory at prestigeimports.com. James Russell reporting in our city. Hey, Franklin. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? I gotta go, man. Y'all do a commercial. Find somebody else. What up, Tom Man? Tom Man? What's up, man? I ain't seen you in a long time, man. Cut. Hey, Fucking cut. This is a celebration of a modern classic. The official name is Crazy Color Edition.